Greetings, peace be with you. In this video, I want to explore the idea of passion. What is the truth about passion? Because my conception of it at one point was uh, such that if I find my passion, if I follow my passion, then that is the secret to living a life on my terms. That if I do what I love, that I'll never work a day in my life, right? That's the common conception in my head. But what is the truth about passion? So the truth is that it actually comes from a Catholic root, pati, which means to suffer, right? It comes from the suffering of the Christ, right? Mel Gibson even made a movie on uh, the passion of the Christ, which developed a lot of controversy. But the fact is that passion is not about not working, right? Because the conception is that there's something wrong about work, right? Oh, if you find what you love, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. But what's wrong with work? Right? Work is what you're here for. Work is the most pot potent vehicle for your personal evolution. Right? Work is what closes the gap between where you are right now and where you have the potential of being in the future. Right? So work is not something... Whoa, man. There's like a freaking gang, gang of crows up there. Don't know what they're up to right now. I think they're trying to find some meat. But the fact is that these crows are freaking gangsters and passion is not something that helps us avoid work right passion is the work that we choose to do right passion is suffering for the fruition of our goals right because at the end of the day life is suffering that is the first noble truth of buddhism right life is suffering it's dukkha and the choice that we all have to make is whether we are going to suffer the pain of regret, right? Which can only exist in the gap between where we are and where we're capable of being. When we're not showing up as who we are capable of being, then in that gap is the space created for regret, disillusionment, anxiety to sweep in, right? But as we strive to close that gap, as we strive to live up to our potential, as we strive to actualize what we are capable of being, as we strive towards our potential, as we express who we really are, then that is where we experience the positive emotions like joy, like fulfillment, like love, right? And passion is not about letting go of work, like I said, right? Passion is about choosing what you are willing to suffer for. And this is something that I've been studying a lot, right? What are we willing to suffer for? As these insects are getting louder and louder. <laughs> it's like, what are you willing to suffer for, man? Like Dr. Dr. Martin Luther King said that, a man who has not found what he's willing to die for is not fit to live, right? That's crazy. So what are you willing to suffer for? What are you willing to die for, right? These are the important questions. What are you willing to die for? Ask yourself this question, journal on this question, get clear on the answer of this question for you deep in your heart, spend time thinking about this question. And once you're clear on what it is that you're willing to die for, then you just live for that, right? What are you willing to die for? Live for that thing and it's about suffering man like you have to get through the suffering to get to the other side there's nothing great that comes without a lack of suffering suffering is there for your own personal evolution and really asking yourself what you are willing to suffer for is where you will get your deepest wisdom in terms of what you are here for what you are here to do who you are here to be what you are here to have what experiences you are here to create right because you came here for a reason and that reason is your passion, right? What are you passionate about? What are you willing to suffer for? And what you're going to be suffering from is the pain of self-discipline, right? Waking up every single morning, doing the right thing over the easy thing, consistently taking actions towards your goals, right? I've been studying the Bhagavad Gita as well. And that is a deep spiritual text. I actually made a whole video series on this as well. You can look it up on YouTube. It's like five different videos on this and it's really going to take a lifetime to embody these ideas but what they talk about in that in that scripture is that of detaching ourselves right detaching ourselves from the fruit of our actions like we do the right thing right we do the right thing without the consequence we do the right thing because we know in our heart of hearts that this is the right thing for us regardless of the consequence right the mind the thoughts are like okay if i do this then i'll get that if I do that, I'll get this, right? Thinking about the result that we're gonna get, right? The gut, right? Thinking about the emotions, how I'm gonna feel if I do this. But if you tune into the middle of that, 
your heart, right? Right here, if you tune into your heart, it's like, what can I do that I know is the right thing to do without a thought about the consequence of what will happen after I do this thing, right? So it's like, the struggle is guaranteed, the suffering is guaranteed, the success is not guaranteed. But what are you willing to struggle for? What are you willing to suffer for? What it is that you are here to do? And what do, what is it that if you do it, you know that you did what you were supposed to, right? Rather than getting a certain result that you thought you were supposed to get, that you were conditioned to think that if you got it, it would be all good. But then you get it. And then that is when you realize that you were really good at climbing ladders, right? You were really good at getting success. You were really good at getting achievement. But then you realized that that ladder was leaned against the wrong wall right and that is really unfortunate right that's unfortunate because as tony robbins would say success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure right so what is it that you are willing to suffer for what is it that you're willing to die for because in that answer you will find your deepest truth you'll find what you are supposed to do what you are here to live for and how you can actually follow your passion right so passion is not about not working right because work is not something to be avoided it's the most potent vehicle for our personal evolution so i think just the conception is messed up in our society but as we can learn to create our passions rather than you know discover our passions trying to find ourselves we can learn to create and choose what we are willing to suffer for the more we can strive to close the gap between who we are and who we are capable of being. Okay, quick message for you. And I hope that you got value from it. Let me know in the comments if you have the courage to answer this question. What is it that you're willing to die for? And I'd love to hear from you. But with that, I'll see you in the next video. Much love to you. Take care.